most memorable moment would be when I first met Dr. Summich and I promised him my undying commitment to the program and to him if I was admitted to the program. And uh, at this point, <laughs> I am glad that I promised that commitment, but there were times throughout that I kind of wondered if uh, maybe I should have made that promise without knowing exactly what I was getting into. My most memorable event of the program was actually after going through the writing sample and the interviews and then actually getting that acceptance letter. Uh, okay, cohort 8 is a very special cohort for me. I particularly um, have enjoyed the fact that uh, 8A and 8B have been the largest cohort, um, have a lot of unique personalities um, and some very special talents. It's a motivated group, resilient. They keep the pulse on each other. <laughs> I want to say super achievers. Very friendly with each other and I think that helps. Very much our, our competitive force and we get to know every individual and they become really a part of our chemistry and a part of our family. I'd say my most memorable event of the program would be the initial luncheon that we had. We had an opportunity to meet a lot of our professors, a lot of the people in the program. Uh, and see who our cohort really was going to be and get an opportunity to meet the people that we were going to spend the next three years together with. The most memorable class is definitely that first day of class where you kind of make that realization like I really just decided to go back to school at this point in my career. The boot camp we had the first summer where Mark and John kind of teamed up against Amy. Oh, absolutely, watching um, Lauren when she cannot hold it together and just breaks into giggles, particularly when she was stumped. I'm really glad that you asked me that question. And I know it doesn't seem big to a lot of people. I got on Facebook for the first time. I think Dr. Fuller, he asked a really important question that stuck with us. It probably took place within the first two weeks of, our, of the program. Kashona and I doing our final project in status and Dr. Hansen saying we did it right and then she failed us anyway. Surrounding everything that could or possibly could happen online. The two weeks at most intensive and pressure of, I would say, my school and academic career. It's like our, our boot camp, I remember towards the end of boot camp just kind of looking up and we it all looked like we hadn't slept and showered in days and just kind of feeling like we were all in the trenches together. The class that was most memorable to me was uh, Dr. Holden's class when uh, he made us all jump up and down singing that he had a bad day. It had me uh, singing and dancing jump on it with Dr. Holden. <laughs> Makes everybody do that because he can. It was probably when Dr. Bernauer put a chair on his head. Look, I just felt like putting a chair on my head today. I'd have to say during the summer session when my car wouldn't start, it was about 10 p.m., um, but Ron Jones was still here, so he was my knight in shining armor. I would say that it probably didn't happen yet. Maybe getting my new job. Um, also, making this commencement video is one of my favorite memories as well. And after we finished our skit, Dr. B hugged us all. And I just thought that was such a, a, a funny and <laughs> crazy thing for him to do, and I'll, I'll never forget that. On campus, we're the only PhD program at Robert Morris University. A lot of what we do in our program is focused on research. The PhD program is a little different because it's the only program that requires a dissertation. Super huge, <laughs> super huge book that everyone has to write. I learned not to take myself so seriously. Uh, really to be a better teacher by looking at all kinds of aspects of teaching a little bit differently, trying new methods. To perseverance and to um, stick through it. I think my process has been um, a, a little bit of a struggle for me. I learned to push through. I have to say perseverance. Um, I think that's why we're all here. I, it taught me to keep going in spite of challenge. You are what you read. We all had tons of articles to get through, but the more you read them, the easier they get and really the easier everything else became. Slow and steady wins the race. I would say perspective, not to be too stressed out. The dissertation is very difficult. It's not 
something that you can do in collaboration with a group project or a classroom setting. It's a, a process that you as an individual have to go through. Finished dissertation is a good dissertation. Endurance um, and even belief in myself. There are many processes that you have to go through in the program and uh, just having the ability to endure those processes. The process is really important to it and I didn't realize, I didn't realize that, I heard people say that and I do know that it's true. So you have to go through the process in order to appreciate it. Hard work, uh, dedication, uh, dealing with uh, the faculty. There are some folks that I found extremely talented. I learned that it's very important to have a critical friend Andrew Fischel, you are my first friend. It's learning how to, to balance you know, your personal life with your school work and your dissertation. I think the most important thing I've learned is how to be an academic professional, the do's and don'ts of how to work with students, how to work with faculty. The leadership program, and it's a test of how well-rounded you are as, as a human being and a leader and how resilient you are. I think it's really to be a researcher. I can write and I can synthesize data pretty quickly. And for the first time ever, it gets to be what I think. It was my meeting, and that was pretty significant to me. Um, probably finished fourth, so I didn't have to do the video, but um, I'm having a great time right now. Is this supposed to be appropriate? I would drink more heavily. I probably would have done everything the same because it was such a good experience. I think I'd live closer. Um, but I would get uh, an easy pass for the turnpike. The advice I would probably give myself is that you will make it, even though statistics seems uh, brutal. Could I join cohort A? Better name, maybe I get a t-shirt. Some type of stress relief. <laughs> well, it's known in my family as the dumbest thing I've ever done. So I guess there's probably something about time management and um, attitude that I should readjust. I thought too big when I initially wanted to complete my dissertation. Definitely start thinking about my dissertation topic a little sooner than I did. Do my dissertation on a topic at my employer. I'd probably look into a topic for my dissertation a little bit earlier. Just work a couple hours every day. Knowing what I know now, I know I can do it. And I wish I would have just given myself that confidence in the beginning. Well, personally, I have a life status and I underestimate the, uh, the intensity of the PhD program. Go with my gut instinct, but back it up with writing and reading first. Uh, secondly, and more seriously, I would um, budget my time more effectively. Not to psych myself out so much. I made it harder than it was, and when it actually came time to do it, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. I'd probably stress less about things that, now that looking back, weren't near as important as I thought they might have been. Perhaps to not eat quite so much candy every Monday night. <laughs>
And when Colton and Bernard came over and Doc Semich came over, it was really good to see them at a, at a different, um, in a different light, so to speak. How has your research in Second Life helped you with the uh, real life experiences? Um, we both know that Second Life is probably the most important life. Without Second Life, could there be a First Life? And uh, more importantly, could you do Second Life in person? I'd like to thank Dr. Dr. Hansen. She shared something very special with me and it's very important. She told me that. James Bissell, because on the very first class, he and I discovered that we were going to be uh, helping each other out. So I sat next to him in every class. My fiance has been there for me, heard all my complaints, heard all my issues, and has um, been a big support to me. Special thanks to Karen and Chris for all the motivational text messages and phone conversations, and also to Mary Hansen for giving me a swift kick when I needed it the most. Yeah, I want to thank my parents uh, who have given me enough to do something, but not enough to do nothing. And my um, advisor, Dr. Simich, who reeled me in, and my committee members, uh, Dr. Hipsky and Dr. Bernadowski. They offered advice and I appreciate that. I really have to thank Dr. Fuller. Uh, he was the one that, that saw my, my silly little study about games and saw that there could be some merit there and he, he believed in it from the beginning. I would like to give a special thanks to my dissertation chair, uh, Dr. Carrie Ann Bernadowski. She has been a tremendous help and mentor as well as my husband who has stayed home and was nice with the children and my mom who has helped out a great deal. I'd like to thank my family, especially my mom who stayed with the kids every Monday, my husband and my kids. Jenna Copper, she's my editor. Um, I wish I would have found her earlier. Uh, she's really made a difference. Jason Draper, the statistician, um, he really just helped solidify my survey and tools. And Dr. Semich, he's been my little cheerleader the whole time and I, I wouldn't have made it through the program without him. Yeah, I really appreciate uh, Jason Draper. He helped me a lot. In stats in the chapter four and really pulled it together. Well, as for a group of folks that I would like to thank, especially number one, my family. Uh, I hope I will still, still get married when I'm done with this. Uh, family, my wife and my children were very supportive. Uh, the faculty that I, you know, that support me, uh, my, my advisor, my chair, uh, and the committee that have been kind of along the way. I'd like to give a special thanks to my friends and family, uh, all the people that were there with me, uh, and to all of you out there, uh, and to everybody that helped me uh, along the way in this program. Special thanks to my committee who has supported me so far, uh, Dr. Hazer, uh, Dr. Rafeth, the, the Dean of the School of Education, and Dr. Del Greco. I'd like to thank Dr. Holman, who has been a great advisor throughout the program, but I also have to give credit to Parkhurst Food Service for this great meal tonight and the great meals throughout the cohort. I would like to thank my chair, Dr. Bernauer, for constantly talking to me on the phone and helping me get through this process, especially being so far behind as I was and then helping me catch up. I'd like to thank my boss who let me uh, leave work early, an hour early, um, throughout this whole process. Um, I do have to give though a special shout out to Cindy because we've been carpool buddies for the last three years um, and even when we weren't physically in the same car we were our carpool buddies on the phone the entire time. Um, the toll workers, believe it or not, they were very encouraging. They, they would see me every week and they would um, wish me the best and they actually still they still do when I, when I ride past the, the toll workers. You know I'd like to thank Dr. Bernadowski for the extra time that she gave me. It went well above and beyond uh, what she, what's expected of her as one of my committee members. We have to say a uh, special thanks to um, my wife and her tolerance for um, how often I wasn't in the home or how often I was in class or at the library. Oh, the list is endless, but of course, first and foremost is my husband. I mean, he has been a trooper uh, for the past three years uh, during this 
in this time of study and my children. I mean, that is, you know, just the people that really have helped me the most. Uh, really the cohort, I think that was a fantastic model. It was really just great to uh, go through the entire process uh, with everybody. Um, you know, I, I am so lucky to be in this group because this is such an amazing crew of people. And last, my cohort, which is the, the, the greatest group of folks that I've, I've met and I think that we will pursue that journey for, for a lifetime. Absolutely. Everybody says the cohort, I know, but I wouldn't have made it without the cohort. And I, I would have to say, you know, Patty, Jason, Doc Semich, but Patty, I, I, you know, I think she doesn't get enough credit because she's always cheery and she's always um, there for everybody, so let's thank her. Actually, it's a special thanks to my cohort because I couldn't imagine a better group of people to go through something like this with. Uh, special thanks to some of my cohort members, uh, Dan and Ashley, and um, the support that they provided throughout the program. Um, can't forget Patty, and um, also my dissertation chair, Dr. Del Greco. I'm sure everybody's maybe thanking their cohort members or not, but I'd like to because without a couple, um, Especially you, Dan, helping me out along the way, and, and Bart and Janice and some cheerleaders in the corner. I think without the cohort, um, I wouldn't have learned and, and made it through as successfully as I did. And special uh, thanks to all my cohort friends who supported me during a rough time doing the program, and um, also my loving husband who has supported me always. I would thank the cohort. Our cohort has become um, a core group of friends and support for me. It was really just nice to go through that with a bunch of people that genuinely cared. Um, I, kind of the important thing that I learned was I gave a lot of thought, as I've done over these past couple weeks, and one of the things was I come in expecting to share an educational experience with a group of people. And instead, I shared a life experience. And I think we've been through births of children and grandkids. and uh, We picked each other up. Um, we cried with one another. We had hip replaced and cancers and, and some other things. And passing of family members and milestones. And I think we've lived life together.